get back. I've got a squeegee. No, wait. Um, we're talking about single variables. Again, the easy stuff. And I just want to remind you the basic rules of differentiation. The derivative of x to the n is just n times x to the n minus 1. It drops uh, for n not equal to 0. Because if n is 0, then it's a constant. The derivative of a constant is 0 for any constant. Um, derivation of a derivative is a linear function. So it behaves really, really nice. The derivative of some constant c times f of x is just c times the derivative. Um, f of x plus or minus g of x derivative is the derivative of the individual parts. All of this is easy. So is this, except it's kind of not. Um, the, and you'll notice right away I, I left off the x's here. And it's because mathematicians are primarily lazy human beings. And we're just trying to uh, get an idea across with the least amount of notation. This is very, very typical to see it this way. The derivative of a product is f prime times g plus g prime times f. The derivative of a quotient is g f prime minus f g prime divided by g squared. The derivative of an exponential function is just e to the x, or the derivative of e to the x anyway is just e to the x. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. There are some more specific rules, and uh, somebody might rightfully say, dude, uh, we're not going to do this by hand. Computer does this. And you're kind of right, but at the same time, you are going to be reading papers where they're going to be showing some of these things. And you got you to remember what, this things, what these things mean. Some of the, the two constants, I've been doing this for about five years for Carlson now at the time of this taping. Um, two of the constants are almost always the students go, I never thought. I would need this much math to be able to deal with this. And you do. The truth is you do. And uh, the second constant is, this is changing. Every year I've worked here, they've asked me to learn something I never heard of before to figure out how to teach something to another class or something like that. Because your field is evolving so quickly. I mean, um, it's, you're going to be reading papers. You're going to be scientists. So uh, with that being said, uh, a couple things. Knowing how to take derivatives by hand is a really important thing. Chain rule. The chain rule is in every book. It's always um, explained very haphazardly. Or put it this way, almost incomprehensibly. And I see that I can uh, make my, my F here is not as attractive as I would like it to be. So the chain rule says, if u is a function of x... Uh, then the change of f of u with the change of x is the change of f of u with the change of u times the change of u with the change of x. It kind of makes sense. Uh, incidentally, it's supposed to look like this. That's why the notation, incidentally, this notation is Leibniz's notation. This is kind of why they do this. Here's the deal. When it gets really, really complicated, Doing it by this, the, the actual definition becomes really uh, ghastly. So I'm going to show you something I made up called blob calculus. And this will show you how to take uh, really complex derivatives uh, very, very easily. And we'll do that in a moment. Don't.